once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away, forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop where they hope to find peace. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Sometimes, he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this. Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Oh. 
not your usual shooting range, right? How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... one more time. You could try and lift Mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Is this one too big? Yeah, it's just way too massive. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. <laughs> cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Aw, oh, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? <laughs> yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. <coughs> you're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now, superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while.
We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Where are you going, pup? Wow! Sean, look! Mushroom found a deer! So cool! Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. What? What did you find, Shroom? Gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah, I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or worse. What's worse than a bear, Inano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> Sean, the family that lived here, what do you think happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. I kind of like it here. It's way cooler than that crappy town where the shelter was. I just... I miss my friends. And my room. Sometimes. Yeah. Me too. Uh... Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. We really suck at this trap thing. Let's see. Whatever. Daniel's not getting any better. He needs medicine and a real house with proper windows and heating. I don't know if I could gut an animal anyway. Look, Daniel! I think I saw that rabbit from the other day. He's trying to get home. Ooh! I want to see the bunny! <laughs> ah! Uh, fuck! Uh, Sean! My hand! <laughs> oh, dude. Your face. Sean, you suck. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. I was just kidding around. Moron. I 
went canoeing with Dad on Wenatchee River once. The water was freezing cold, but we had so much fun. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Careful, little puppy. Don't catch the cold. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with his two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? You can't really name Birch, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. Are uh, you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. Again? You eat like a bear but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. I miss Dad's barbecues. His marinade with the aciote paste, jalapenos. Shit. I train Daniel. Daniel can train Shroom. Hey, Enano. Shroom needs some exercise, too. Right? Yeah. Beware of the flying stick. Wanna fetch mushroom? Huh? There you go. <laughs> Did it. Go, girl. Yeah. Good girl. Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. We have to talk about it. Tonight. Sorry guys, but we don't take any more guests. Hey, what's that? Looks like a box or something. Yo, Daniel. Come here. What's up? Can you fly that box down from the tree? Duh. Watch me. Looks like an old cigar box. Let's check this out. Yeah, what's inside? Let's see. Uh, cardboard caps. Badges. Is that a power bear? But he's wearing a different costume. Maybe an old design? Awesome! Can we keep it? Sure. That's pretty old school cool. It's so silent out here. What kind of dog were you, Sandy? A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom? It's like we're on another planet. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. Runaway millennials and part-time forest squatters at your service. How old are these kids today? Yep. 
know me tonight. Daniel helps me slice wood by holding the logs with his power. Pretty useful. Too bad this wood is rotten. We had to cut some more to keep the house warm. Fucking miracle we found this place three weeks ago. Yeah, not my kind of weeds. <sighs> I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. We look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful. So quiet. No planes, no highways. Just the river, continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. But Daniel's health is getting worse every day, and the food is running low. Will we need to move again? Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. We had to use Daniel's gift to break in. <laughs> 